Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Daniel here from Second Chance Love. And today's video is extra special because I am joining in on a collaboration that's being hosted by the Ladies of Elegance, which are my wonderful, amazing friends, Amethyst Adventures and the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. They are hosting a collaboration, which is hashtag sophisticated Saturdays and the challenge for july is a christmas in july so definitely make sure to check us all out there is going to be a playlist of everybody who's joining in on this collaboration so it would mean so much for you to not only support me but definitely head on over to our hosts channels which will be linked in the description box below and everyone else who's also joining in on this amazing and wonderful collaboration you guys know that i'm absolutely a big fan of christmas so i am so super excited to share with you what i came up for this collaboration and i called upon a very very special guest to help me with today's video and a decor setup so let's go ahead and welcome mickey hi mickey say hi to everybody hi hi guys so definitely make sure to head on over to their channels show them some love and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified of all my weekly videos and give our videos all a big like it will definitely help us out for youtube so mickey is sporting his little christmas hat and i am sporting my holiday colors and i'm very very excited i'm going to be setting up a tablescape kind of like a table setup and the best part is is that i'm utilizing both vintage and new items and that's what I really love about being able to decorate because I utilize, I'm able to utilize my thrift finds. So my style for today's video is going to be like a mashup, I guess you could say. It's both vintage and new, a little bit of Ray Dunn, a lot of vintage and some new items as well. So I'm very excited. Are you excited, Mickey? I am very excited, very excited because I absolutely love Christmas and I am so excited to be joining in on this collaboration. Again, definitely make sure to head on over to their channels and check everyone out. There is going to be a playlist which will be linked as well down in the description box below so you guys can check out everyone who is joining in on this fabulous collaboration. So without further ado, Mickey, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started with our decorating. So as always, before we start something new, we always have to get our canvas in a way clean or our work area in other ways. So with the help of Mickey, we're going to go ahead and spread a little Disney magic to clear the table so we can start on our decorating for our Christmas in July. start off I will be utilizing this vintage tablecloth that I found at Goodwill it doesn't completely cover my table but I thought that you know just with half of it being covered or at least the middle part of the table it would definitely work out and this is just absolutely divine and I love 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 the vintage colors and the ornaments that this tablecloth has it was such a great find and of course Mickey just loves to help me. With our tablecloth set, we are now ready to start layering. So for the next setup, I will be utilizing these Goodwill finds as well. These were originally from Target, but we do get a lot of Target items in our SoCal Goodwills here in Orange County. So I am going to be utilizing two of these plant stands as decor pieces to utilize in the setup of my table decor setup. So this is going to be, again, more like a tablescape. I wanted to create a center area 
And here we are putting them onto the tabletops. And of course, Mickey is being such a good pal. He wants to get on Santa's good list, so he is here to help me out. Next up, I will be utilizing these candlestick holders. I have a tall one and a shorter one that I will be utilizing by placing them in the middle table. And of course, I will be utilizing candles for the top of those candle holders. I think this is going to give it a very cute and effective way of making it look layered with the difference in height. Next up, I'll be utilizing these two Goodwill trees that I found and they're absolutely stunning. They have like a frosted look and they're layered with glitter and cranberries or berries, holiday berries. And I just think they're really going to make a statement with the pieces that I'll be adding next to them as well. Next, I'll be utilizing these Thomas Kincaid homes that I found at Goodwill. I have found quite a collection and I knew that I wanted to put these onto my tablescape setup. So I am going to be placing two different houses on each of the stands. As you guys see, I am placing it around. The best thing about decorating is, is that it's not always permanent and you can always change things around. So always change things, move things around until you find the best setup that you are happy with. So I put two on each side on the right and left of the remaining pedestals on the plant stands. So what do you think so far, Mickey? Are you liking it? It's super cute, right? Yeah, I absolutely think so too. He is so excited for Christmas, you guys. And of course, we're it's not halfway there, but we're almost there in a sense, kind of, you know? I know a lot of people are not ready for Christmas, but I think I am. I love fall season, so as soon as, you know, it starts getting cooler because I don't like hot weather. I'm just, you know, when that time rolls around, when August rolls around, I get so excited because it's so fun. You know, you just get ready for the holidays and everything starts coming. And then soon since fall, October, November, December, ah, so I can't wait. And I'm sure Mickey is very excited because you also get to see Santa, right, Mickey? Yeah, he is so excited, you guys. I will be placing this vintage blow mold that I found at Goodwill of an angel. It's absolutely stunning. My entire setup and look was aiming for a 50s vintage look and I absolutely love how I was able to find these pieces at my local Goodwill stores. Here I'm utilizing just these two candle pillars that I had at home and I think they're going to look so beautiful. I do not light them up for the purpose of this video but I'm sure they would have looked beautiful when they were lit. I am also going to be utilizing some sparkle effects. These are some sparkle lights that I found at Target last year during the Christmas season and I know they're going to make a big change in effect. Here they are placed around the table. I just placed them around each of the houses and the candle pillars onto the other side. And here I'm going to be setting up the table for four guests. So I'm going to be again utilizing some of my thrift store finds. These are from the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia collection that is found on Target. And yes, believe it or not, I did find these at Goodwill. They were in brand new condition. They were still in its original box from Target and they were half the price that I could find them in Target. So I just knew that the red rims around the outer part of the plate would be perfect for like a candy cane kind of theme going and these are in the color of sour cream so I just thought they would be very perfect and be 
such a cute accent piece to the whole table setup and we're definitely getting started for a party and i also have these other hearth and hand plates that i found as well and yes these were also thrifted and they have a christmas tree or a tree in the middle of them so i thought that they would look really special placed on top of each of the plates and I just love, love, love how all of these colors are combining. I really love that I'm combining both vintage and new items into my entire setup. Now, coming up, of course, you guys know this wouldn't be a classic Daniel decorative style without at least adding some Ray Dunn into the design. So I do have my thrifted Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus mugs and I decided to place one on each side of the candle pillars. I thought the red definitely makes a big pop in the statement of the tablecloth where you guys can see already does have some red with the snowflakes but I thought this would definitely make a much bigger statement. I'm going to be utilizing these holiday ornaments that my husband actually found at an estate sale and I'm going to be placing them in just a bit. Here you see that Mickey is meeting my little golden retriever Bella. Bella's just like what is going on here? <laughs> oh my goodness. She was actually very well behaved which I was surprised. Don't worry Mickey you're okay. So I'm going to be utilizing these holiday ornaments and I'm only putting two. I'm going to be grabbing the Claus and Mrs. Claus and I'm going to be corresponding them next to the mug with their name. So I just thought that these would be such a cute added feature. I didn't want to remove the ornament string because one, they're not mine, they are hubbies. And two, if I did want to utilize them as ornaments, I wanted that to be an option and they actually stand up on their own the bottom of their feet are actually flat so it looks like they're also meant to stand up so i thought that was really really awesome so make sure to stay tuned you guys the final reveal is coming up where you will get to see the whole view and its glory I absolutely love how everything turned out. Everything just looks so, so beautiful. I love all the colors. I love all the details that went into this entire setup. I hope that this video brings you guys a source of inspiration and that you are able to find things at your local thrift store that you can utilize when decorating. That is definitely what I love about my channel is that I'm able to bring you inspiration on items that you find at the thrift store. You don't always have to buy new for everything and you don't always have to spend a lot of money to decorate your home. And I hope that this is proof or that this is a big source of inspiration for you to hit up your local thrift store and see what you can find. Coming up next is going to be how it looks with the lights dimmed. So I do hope that you guys enjoy this last preview and I'll be right back with just a few more words.
we are reaching the end of my video if you're coming from one of the other videos on the playlist i want to thank you and i hope that you decide to click that subscribe button and become a part of the second chance love family here i want to thank amethyst adventures and the grace life diy home decor for coordinating this awesome collaboration for christmas in july so definitely make sure to head on over to everyone else in the collaboration and check out everyone's video and show them some love. Again, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love wishing you guys a wonderful, wonderful week. And I hope that this video was a source of inspiration for your holiday decor this upcoming year. And of course, I couldn't have done this without the help of my amazing friend, Mickey, who also wishes you a happy, happy Christmas in July. Oh.